what I believe is to eat food mm -hmm. that is came out of the product of life itself. Mm -hmm. I don't care whether you're Chinese, Eskimo, Arab, or what. If you eat something natural, mm -hmm. you're going to be healed. Black people should not eat Chinese food because Chinese food or even Caucasian food. Mm -hmm. There is a book out by a man known as Pavo Ariola, and he is known to be one of the most distinguished uh, nutritionists in the world. Mm -hmm. And he said that if your ancestors are from Africa, mm -hmm. your body is not programmed to digest milk. Mm -hmm. But if you are European, yes. So right there, they're telling us that there's a difference in the genetic makeup of, this, of these two individuals. A good example. From the day that God created this universe mm -hmm. and made black people, how many years it has been since God placed black people in Africa? Do you have any idea? The anthropologist has no idea, but they would spout out these numbers for you mm -hmm. that God made the universe 9.5 billion years ago. Mm -hmm. So the other is, when did he put black people in Africa? They say 1.5 million years ago. Mm -hmm. But what was the food that God placed in Africa for these people? Certainly, it could not have been potatoes. It could not have been rice or beans or yams or chicken or hogs or cows. It could not be a goat or a lamb because all these things are hybrid. Mm -hmm. God did not make these things. These things came just recently, only. 4,000 years ago. So what were we eating in Africa before we were taken away? What were we eating in Africa before there was an invasion by the man from Europe? We simply do not know. Mm -hmm. One of the areas that the black race need healing most is in the central nerve system. Mm -hmm. Because we have been eating acid food for 400 years. And how does that manifest itself in terms of? Socially. Socially, physically, and physically, what's the damage that? Okay, socially, we see that very seldom our leaders agree with their own selves. The, the leaders are at war. Mm -hmm. They are all in disagreement because among the leaders, you find Muslims, you find Christians, you find Buddhists, you find all of that, and they all seem to disagree with each other's position. Mm -hmm. The politician, well, I don't know what role politics play. In our, pro in our progression health state. Mm -hmm. How we see it, again, is that we are not together on any issue that is pragmatic, that's going to elevate us in producing something for our own existence. Self-preservation is the first law of nature. And we are the only people on the planet that denies that. That the African people are eating a food that is so detrimental that you didn't have. And you see, the African people is eating cassava. Mm -hmm. Cassava is cyanide, pure cyanide, unadulterated. You didn't have that. Mm -hmm. And because you didn't have the cyanide, you were able to produce plastics. You were able to produce rubber. You were able to build the White House. You were able to produce electricity. You were able to produce agriculture, the African men. And no other black man in the world has ever done that. That shows that black America, even though taken away from motherland and given meat, which is responsible for our anger, mm -hmm. we are still able to do things that is over and above any other race in the world. The black race has proved. And now that another one comes, your brother and servant, Dr. Sebi, it is not so surprising that he's curing AIDS and sickle cell. You know something? Curing AIDS is easy. Mm -hmm. Curing sickle cell is like play for me. Diabetes, we cure 10 a month. Yet, there aren't any centers in Germany that is beset with, with um, diabetes. There aren't centers in the United States that cure diabetes. We cure diabetes. Now, what are we going to do now? I would like to hear the excuse 
I would like for someone to take this particular uh, entity mm -hmm. to the leaders of America, and I would like to hear the excuse that they're going to give us. Mm -hmm.